everyone, Matthew. How are you today? Our subject for today is mathematics. Are you excited to learn about numbers? I hope you do. Good morning and hello. Hope everyone's doing great today. Okay, are you ready to listen? But before we start with our lesson, we need to ask guidance from our Lord Jesus Christ. We need to pray first. And when we pray, we need to bow our heads, close our eyes, and put our hands together. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for my home and for my entire family. Thank you for the love you give to each one of us so we can share it with others. Help us to live a happy life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now, our topic for today is about numbers in expanded form. In expanded form, you will expand the number based on their place value and value. Isn't it we already study about the place value and value of numbers? So, it would be easy for you to understand the expanded form of numbers, okay? Look at the example. There are four nests in the tree. Three nests have ten birds in each. There are two birds in one nest. Again, the example. There are four nests in the tree. Three nests have ten birds in each. There are two birds in one nest. Again, oh, look at the nest. We have four nests. Now, let's count all the birds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. Now, the question is, how many birds are there in the nest? Again, how many birds are there in the nest? Isn't it we count the birds? And the total of the birds are 32. Very good, kids. There are 32 birds. Now, how many tens are there? Let's count the tens. One, two, three. There are three tens, okay? Now, how many ones are there? Let's count the ones. One, two. Very good. Again, there are three tens and there are two ones. There are three tens and two ones. Okay, how to write it? It's like this. Look at in the column of the tens, we have three, and in the columns of ones, we have in the number 32, the value of 3 is 30 and the value of 2 is 2. Again, isn't it? We have the number 32. The value of 3 is 30 and the value of 2 is 2. Why is like that? Isn't it? We already studied the place value and the value. That's why the value of 3 is 30, isn't it? Because 3 is in 10th place. And if the number is in 10th place, how many zero you will add? 1. Very good. That's why the value of 3 is 30. Because to get the value of the number, you need to add 0 to the number. That's why it becomes 30. And the value of 2 is 2. Why? Because 2 is in 1's place. And if the number is in 1's place, you need to copy the number. You just need to copy the number. That's why the 2 is same as 2. That's why the expanded form is like this. We can write 32 as 
30 plus 2. This is called the expanded form of a number. Again, we can write 32 as 30 plus 2. This is called the expanded form of a number. Kids, when we are writing the expanded form of a number, do not forget to write the plus sign. Okay? The one that looks like cross, that is the plus sign. Okay? Next, let's count. We have another example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Again, we have 56 stars. Again, kids, how many stars do we have? Very good. It's 56. Now, in 56, there are 5 tens and 6 ones. The value of 5 is 50 and the value of 6 is 6. Why is like that? Again, isn't it? I already told you a while ago. The number 5 is in tens place. That's why it becomes 50 because if the number is in tens place, the value of the number is we will just add... One zero to the number. You will just copy the five and add one zero. That's why it becomes 50. And the value of six is six because six is in one's place. And if the number is in one's place, you will just need to copy the number. That's why it's the same as six, okay? The expanded form of 56 is... 50 plus 6. Again, the expanded form of 56 is 50 plus 6 because the value of 5 is 50 and the value of 6 is 6. Same, right? And again, kids, when we are writing the expanded form of a number, do not forget the plus sign. Okay, very good. That's why 50 plus 6. Next one. We have another example. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 
77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156, 157, and 158. Very good at counting, kids. We have 158 stars. Then, how many stars are there? If you listen to teacher, very good. It's 158. Again, we have 158 stars. How many hundreds are there? Again, how many hundreds are there? Let's count. One. It's just one. Okay, very good. Next one. How many tens are there? Let's count the tens. One, two, three, four, five. Again, how many tens? We have five tens. Very good. How about though? How many ones are there? Let's count the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Okay, very good. We have eight ones. And how to write that number? It's like this. How many hundreds do we have? It's one. How many tens? Five. How many ones? Eight. Again, as we read this number, we have 158. Okay. In 158, the value of 1 is 100. The value of 5 is 50. And the value of 8 is 8. How is like that? Again, 1 is in 100 place. And if the number is in 100 place, to get the value of the number, we have to add how many zeros? Two, very good. That's why one becomes 100 because we will add two zero to number one and it becomes 100. About the tens, the value of five is 50 because look at the number five, it is in tens place. And just like what I said, if the number is in tens place to get the value of that number, you just need to add how many zero for tens? One. Very good. That's why 5 is 50 because we will just copy the number 5 and we will add 1, 0 because it is in tens place. So very good. That's why 5 becomes 50. And 8 is 
8 because just like what I said, if the number is in one's place, you just need to copy the number. That's why 8 is the same. It's still 8. Okay, very good kids. The expanded form of 158 is 100 plus 50 plus 8 because the value of 1, 1 is 100 and the value of 5 is 50 and the value of 8 is 8. Okay, that's why we have the expanded form of 100 plus 50 plus 8. Very good kids. Again, do not forget to add plus sign okay 100 plus 50 plus 8 okay now look at the number can you read the number okay very good it's 692 now in the number 692 there are six hundreds nine tenths and two ones can we repeat in the number 692, there are six hundreds, nine tenths, and two ones. The value of six is six hundred because six is in hundreds place value. And to get the value of the number, you just need to add how many zero? Two. So just copy six and add two zero. It becomes six hundred. Very good. About the value of 9, the value of 9 is 90 because 9 is in tens place. And if the number is in tens place, to get the value of the number, you just need to add how many zero for tens? Very good. One zero. That's why 9 becomes 90. And the value of 2 is 2 because 2 is in one's place. And if the number is in one's place, you just need to... Copy the number. So, 2, it's just the same as 2. And the expanded form of the 692 is 600 plus 90 plus 2. Because the value of 6 is 600, the value of 9 is 90, and the value of 2 is still 2. That's why the expanded form is 600 plus 90 plus 2. Very good, kids. Now, these are the things that you need to remember or the key points. We get the values of the tens digit and the ones digit by writing a two digit number in expanded form. Write a plus sign between them. Again, just like what I said a while ago, do not forget to write the plus sign so that we know that it is the expanded form of a number, okay? Another key points. We get the values of the hundreds, tens, and ones by writing a three-digit number in expanded form. Write a plus sign between them, just like what I said. Again, just copy how do you write the 600 plus 90 plus 2. That is the expanded form of the 692. Okay, do not forget the plus sign. That is the most important thing that you need to remember, okay? Okay, now kids, for your homework, please answer pages 59 to 61 in your mathematics book. Again, kids, for your homework, you need to answer pages 59 to 61 in your mathematics book. I hope you learned a lot today. Thank you for listening. Bye, kids. See you again next time. Bye-bye.